ready to launch here down on the beach. So we're going to get the kayak out there. We're going to go right out to sea, right out three miles that way at least. Tide's going to take me out, fish up there for a few hours and then come back in on the tide. Right, see you when I get out there. Right, so I've arrived now outside of the um, no bass fishing zone. So the end of one river is over here and the end of one river is just behind me. And I think what I'm going to do here is, normally I'd anchor up, but I can't see much action in the water. So I'm literally going to let the tide just slowly, it's slowly taking me out, uh, out to sea that way. But then the tide's going to turn in an hour and a half, two hours. So I think I'm just going to ledge a, a worm on a one ounce weight, just give it a little cast and just let me, let me slowly drag along. And if I hit into something, maybe I'll start anchoring up in that area. Okay, so anyway, let's get baited up um, and then we'll get the cast out. I think I'll do it all in one take. So um, this is the rod with a hook on it, but no weight. That's great. Uh, nice little bit of clarity in the water as well, which is good. I always do like it when you can see what you're doing. Now I have got a little worm out. Um, not a worm, uh, a red gill, sand eel out. Um, I was just trawling it behind me for the last 200 yards or so. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think I had any strikes or anything like that on it. Normally they're quite a good indicator. I think the wind, there is a bit of wind today um, and it feels like I'm getting pushed the wrong direction here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting pushed, pushed back the wrong way. Um, do you know what, I think I'll just use, that one's ready to go, so I'll do that one first. That's the Bombarda float one. Um, and it's got a long trace this time. Last time I was using the Bombarders, I didn't have a very long trace on them. This is a much longer trace. So, find my baiting needle. Good, it's at hand. I've got my nice worms today. Look at that. What a, what a little beauty. What a gorgeous worm. And of course, I like to use the baiting needle. Some people don't like using them, but I find it just makes things a hell of a lot easier. Right, I'm definitely getting taken aback out to sea now. I must have been going round in circles for a bit. So, thing is, with that worm now, it's going to sort of float up near the surface, so it might not do very much. And of course, I'm spinning round and round here in this uh, current. Now, a lot of people they use these little parachutes, but if I was to use a parachute, yeah, I'd be halfway to Lundy in, in an hour. So I'll just let the tide do its work. I don't mind. The only problem is I don't want to really be spinning round and round. See, look, I've already done, I've probably just done a 360 there. That just goes, that's, that's because I'm in between a couple of rivers here, or the, the mouths of a couple of rivers. So the current is sort of spinny spinny. I was hoping to see the uh, seagulls and a bit of action and them diving in the water and sort of indicating on me where, you know, there's a little bit of action under the water in regards to, you know, bait fish and predatorial fish, but there's not much action out here at all. So I'm pretty much going to be reliant on bait um, other than spinning. You need to know where they are before you start spinning for the bass. It's such a big, wide open expanse. There's no point having a, a depth surrounder here because most of the time in two, three, maximum four foot of water and they don't work very well. And also the fish will dart out from underneath the kayak when you're in that sort of water. They'll, they'll be over there somewhere, you know. The kayak comes along, they'll shoot off 20 yards out the way. So a, a fish finder in this sort of area and conditions is a waste of time. It's fine if you're out at sea, but not for here. It's really weird, I'm getting like spun around, I'm going out and around and back. <laughs> uh, the wonders of the estuary tides. Oh, 
Right, so we got indication now of the birds. Um, they're up ahead about 200 yards. Not many of them, but they are diving into the water. Um, you won't be able to pick it up on the camera here, but I can see with my eyes what they're doing. So I'm going to try and make my way towards them. Um, I've left the Bombarda float just floating out the back. Um, I've pulled in the uh, one ounce weight. Yes, so I can see the birds. They're definitely, they're definitely onto something out this way. So let's go and see what that is. And hopefully we can pick something up. Yes, other birds are coming to join them now as well. Now a lot of the times, by the time I get there, it'll all be over, but it's a good indication of where fish were or where they've been. So, anyway, I'm going to crack on and, and get over there now. Right, so I'm up to the area where the fish were diving. The only thing is, it's only about, <laughs> it's not even a foot deep, so it must be something quite small. But I'm going to wait here. I put a cast out anyway, just in case. You never know, maybe the bass are coming in quite shallow. I put the anchor out and I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to just wait it out by here now. I'll wait for the tide to turn, lift us up. Um, I'm just fishing this general direction. So, wish me luck. So again, I'm getting little bites on this one. Um, I did bring it in and the bait had gone. Oh, and we're in. There he is. I think it might just be... No, he's gone. Is he gone or is he... No, 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 no he's still on there. There he is. Oh, lovely. Okay. So let's just bring him in. Ah, he might have just shaken the hook loose. No. I think he's still there. Yeah. Ooh, he's running. He's running. It's a flatty, is it? Like, ooh, come on. No, it's a bat. It's a bat. You can see the silver of the bats. <sighs> Lovely. Right, so the bats are running. Come on in, son. Come on, let's get you unhooked. Not a bad looking bass. Right. You just chillax by there a minute, buddy, and we'll get you unhooked. There we go. So we got the hook out there without really damaging the fish. Um, I'll just push his guts back, well, his gullet back in. There we go, so his gullet's gone back in. So he should be okay to release now. So I'm just going to freshen him up. There we are, he's alright, he's just under the boat. He's a little bit pissed off, but he'll survive, that's the main thing. So there's a bit of a knack to that, uh, taking them out of the gullet like that. I hate to see him damaged. Right, there we are. So that was a lesson. Let's get this one back out again and see if we can get another one. But yeah, there's definitely fish coming in now. I've seen swir... Whoa! Oh, I missed him. No, I am No, I got him! Got him! Don't know, it's quite a gentle knock on the... Don't think it's, don't think it's anything of size. He's starting to put a bit of a fight now. Oh, he's seen the... He's seen, nah, he's only a smallie. It's only a small one. Uh, I don't know how he's hooked. He don't like me. He don't like me. Oh, he's hooked through the lip, lovely. Oh, that's what we're going to see. Stop wiggling! I'm trying to sort you out, mate. In for the top. There he goes. 
hold him up properly for the camera. Oh, that's it, now he's, he's doing the wiggle of death. Start wiggling. Come on, you want to get on TV, mate? I'm trying to show you to YouTube. You'd be a famous star. There he is. Nice little bass. Let's put him back. He's lively enough. He'll just go straight back in. Yeah. No messing. He weren't hanging about. Oh, that's a nice knock on that. Right, let's hurry up. cast ever. Oh, fish right in front of my kayak. Okay, we're on. We're on. We're on. Yeah, nice little head shake. Uh, there's a shoal coming through here. Not much of a fight on him though. Not yet anyway, sometimes... Way okay. He's decided he doesn't like the kayak. Oh, it's just a little schoolie. Yeah, so that's where I thought. I thought there was a little shoulder schoolies. Hook gently through the side of the mouth there. Looks perfect. Okay, you fella. So, another nice little schoolie. Beautifully hooked on the side. Look, just fell out that hook, did. Off he goes, back he goes. I'll get this back on out there. Demolished most of my worm already. Thing is, if, it, if that's what's coming through here, then there's no point in baiting up a nice fresh worm. Just leave the little bit left on it. I wasn't expecting that. I brought this in and I thought there's a few little taps on it, but I didn't think there was anything on it. I brought it in and there's bloody bass on it. It was just sitting there. Sitting there on the line. There he is. There you can see him. Again, hooked nicely through the side of the mouth, which I like to see. Do like it. He's nicked all the bait. Beautiful condition. Off he goes. Back in. But I'm getting bite after bite after bite. So the waves are starting to pick up a little bit. Well, the swell is starting to pick up a little bit. But what I want is not these little buggers. I want something a bit bigger. I'll let a little bit rope off the anchor, I think. As well, just give it another foot or two. Right, well, have we got something on here? Don't think he's big. Feels quite a sort of weird tap, actually. So he's still, he's still down there. If it, what is that? Oh, it is a bass. I couldn't work out what he was for a minute. Come here. Let's get you out. Let's get you sorted out. It's been well, they've been very well behaved. There we go. Where have you managed to get yourself hooked? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. on that hook, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh god, the other one's going now. Right. Let's get my the pliers. He's managed to... He's not hooked deep, but he's just hooked awkward. Come here. did do yourself a silliness there, didn't you? Oh, so right, got you. Not a bad little fish. Off he goes. Ta -da. Oh, he, he weren't hanging about. Right, I was getting the bang on this, was I? No takers. 
know, while I was messing around with this one. Uh. Right, we get this beated up and back in the uh, the fish or not. It could be a load of weed. But no, that's not a fish. I've picked up a load of weed. Oh, hello. There was a that was a knock. I'm not sure what this is going to be. I thought it was a load of weed because there's nothing fighting, but I just had a knock off it. Let's have a look. Whatever it is, it don't want to come up. Can't see it. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is smooth hound. <laughs> I've, that's my first person. Wow, I've never caught one of these before. I know people target them. Oh, here he goes. I've never caught one of these before. So now uh, apparently the way to do this is to grab its tail. Uh, is it gonna let me grab its tail? Oh there it is. Um I'm a little bit unsure about these things. I'll just keep it like that. I can put this over its uh, cool, he's strong little bug, isn't he? Right. Well, I definitely don't want to keep him. Ah, he's unhooked, lovely. So, my first ever shark on a kayak. <laughs> well, let's get you back, fella. Funny looking eyes, incandescent. Right, all right, all right, all right. Off you go. Right, Tana, bloody hell. Can't say I enjoy catching it. That's not my uh, intended species though. Well, that goes to prove somebody was saying back in back in Ferry Side that they can catch smooth hound. And I was like, I've never caught a smooth hound before. I mean, yeah, I, okay, so I'm out just outside of the estuary here, really, or, or whatever, but. Uh, thinking about it that was a classic sort of like when you catch a taupe because I've caught taupe off off uh, boats before now when you're bringing them in it's just like a dead weight you know what I mean it's just sometimes it's like I like, say like you got a load of weed on the end and that's what that was like now I did feel one sort of kick as I was bringing it in I thought is this something well, quite obviously it was well, that's my first shark off a kayak. Well, I'm going to put a weight on and put another cast out. Well, that was good. That was different. Excited now. See what else we can pull off. I have had a gurnard from about a year before, but again, that was on a big boat, not on the kayak. So we've had two different species. That's great. Never had one of them before. Brilliant. I'm not sure if I got another one of those smooth bounds because this has given me a hell of a bite. Oh, look, it's running. Whatever that is. Oh my god, what is this? This is a hell of a bite. I mean, this drag is set really tight as well. I'm getting a bit back on it. I think it's another one of those smooth bounds, but this one's bigger. Must be. If it is, I'm bloody unhooking it and I'm getting out here. I don't like catching these things. This is not my intended species. And again, it's just on the lugworm. Right, it's getting close now. It's got to be another. 
uh, reduce the drag a little bit actually because he's going to want to run when he comes in. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, it's definitely another one of these smooth hounds. Because again, he's, he's fighting for the bottom. Yeah, it's a big one this time. It's bigger than the last. Uh, I don't want to lose my weight this time. Uh, may as well give up, fella. You found central round here. Yay! Yeah, he's trying to break. Right, I think what I'll try and do is, I don't know if I've got him on camera, is I'll try and unhook him at the side. Come in, does he? Right. Jesus, that's quite a big fish. What's that? Two foot, sixty centimeters. Well, I'm glad I've documented this. You probably won't like this. All right, mate. It's only a little bit more, more on them out. Oh, they haven't got teeth. Okay, they're a bit like a ray then. They're a bit like a ray. They've got a a gummy look. Right, well, let's get him back because he's oh, he's pissing on me. <laughs> I must be—is it a female with the little latches like that? All right, fella. Well, nice to see you. I'll give you a kiss. There you go. Come on, off you go. Wee. Well, well, well. Smooth hound central. Never caught one before, and then I catch two in one go. He moiled that bait as well. Well, fancy that, two smooth bound, and I've never caught one before. Right, so that's the end of my little trip off in. That wasn't too bad a little session, was it? Was it four bass? Four bass and those two smooth hounds. Really enjoyed myself today. Uh, it's been quite a long trip as well. Um, I was out at one o'clock. So, well, it's just gone one o'clock, it was about half past one. It's now nearly eight o'clock. No, I tell a lie, it's nearly nine o'clock. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, then uh, hit the old thumbs up likey button. Consider a subscription or a subscribe, doesn't cost you anything. Just uh, lets you know that when I got new videos, and there's a bell icon there as well. Always press that and then you'll be informed as soon as I upload any new videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully be back on water and tight lines to all. Have a good one.